The city of Ferguson is moving forward. That is the message from a business that's found itself in the middle of the unrest over the past decade, including over the weekend when their cameras captured an officer being tackled and seriously injured by a protester. Fox 2's Max Deeknight joins us from Worm Tire and Wheel. And Max, the owners of this family business gave you an exclusive look at the full video from Friday night. Hey, Mandy, that's right. Yeah, this business here in Ferguson has really seen it all over the past 10 years. In fact, on Friday night, this is where Officer Brown was injured along the sidewalk. The entire incident caught on that camera. It's a video that's been played across the country. A protester tackling Ferguson police officer Travis Brown, leaving him with a life-threatening brain injury. Officer down. It happened here late Friday in the parking lot of Worm Tire and Wheel right across the street from the Ferguson Police Department. Their numerous surveillance cameras captured how the night played out. This video taken around 8 o'clock shows protesters packing the parking lot, setting up a tent and coolers. Then things started to get out of hand, leading to the moment Brown collided with 28-year-old Elijah Gant. Wednesday, the department released Brown's body cam footage showing the gut-wrenching moment. More video from the business shows Brown being rushed away through that crowd on a stretcher. You can also see officers arresting Gant in the middle of that mob of people. We sat down with the Worm family. They say their hearts break for Officer Brown. We feel for his family. The Worms think Friday will serve as a turning point for Ferguson as everyone rallies around Officer Brown and his department. They've made shirts Ferguson forward to hammer that point home. We do want people to know that Ferguson is a wonderful place. You can walk down these streets at 10 o'clock at night. You'll see people walking their dogs, their kids. I mean, in and out of the restaurants. It's a very diverse community. We get along. The community has supported us. It's a great community. Thrust into the national spotlight 10 years ago, residents feel Ferguson has been portrayed inaccurately. The worms say it's time that finally changes. It's a community I, I wish more people would take a closer look at because there's a lot of fun here, there's a lot of growth here, and people really care about each other. And also new tonight, Officer Brown's family released a statement thanking everyone for their continued support. By the way, the GoFundMe for Officer Brown has already raised more than $65,000 at last check. If you would like to donate or help out his family as well, you could find the link for that on our website. That's fox2now.com. Reporting live in Ferguson tonight, Max Deeknight, Fox 2 News.